Each player in the Cashflow 202 game gets given two envelopes, one OK for you and one MYT for you. And these are specifically for shorting those two stocks. Uh, in the 202 game there are now only two stocks to buy and sell. So if you land on a green slice in the rat race and you pick up a capital gain deal card, you might pick up this one, which says MYT for you is now at $5. Now, because it's a low price, you won't want to short that. You'll probably want to just buy it instead. Remember, you short a stock if you think it's going to go down in price. So we don't think that's going to go down, so we'd probably end up buying that stock. But say you picked up this OK for you one, you can see that the price is $50, so there's a very high likelihood of that going down. It's even outside its trading range of 10 to $40, and it also even says you may want to short this stock. So it gives you a bit of advice there. So if you did short it at 50 and say you sold 100 shares, that would be 50 times 100, or $5,000. So $5,000 comes from the bank and goes into that OK for you envelope. You pay nothing from your cash pile, you literally wait for somebody else to pick up another card at a later stage, uh, say this one, which is OK for you, is now at $10. So what you now do is you buy the 100 shares back at $10, which is $1,000, and that $1,000 goes to the bank. So $1,000 to the bank and you keep the $4,000 that's in the envelope. That becomes yours. If you look at it another way, you've seen the price of OK for you go from 50 to 10. So that's a drop of $40 times your 100 shares, so that's $4,000. So you keep the $4,000 and the bank keeps the remaining $1,000. I mean, if OK for you, for instance, had gone completely bust down to zero, you would have had the full $50 change in the price and you would have kept the whole $5,000. Once you've done a few of these short trades they'll all start to make sense.